Hello, welcome to a sound test from Geeks Tech. Uh, got a new uh, microphone in this lovely case. It is the Sennheiser. Uh, I'm very excited to have this microphone come. Uh, the reason why I bought this one is because A, I really wanted this microphone, and B, I'm buying the uh, Sennheiser um, wireless kit. And in that kit, you also get the uh, XLR plugin to go in the bottom of this microphone and then it gives you wireless microphone capability so again this could be good for interviewing at events which is what I'm going to be doing this year so yeah I'm quite looking forward to it but people asked me to do a sound test uh, and upload it onto YouTube so hey why not eh? so I'm going to be doing a three part sound test um, test one is going to be using the Bit kit I've been using for well for some time now, which is the uh, well everything that I've been reviewing basically. Well, for, at least for the last six months at least, might be a bit longer. But yeah, it's the uh, clip-on tie mic here. Uh, I don't know the specs fully, so I can't really say because I just don't know. But I do know it's a Audio Technica uh, microphone. Yeah, the uh, the tie shirt clip microphones. They call lavalier or something. I'll just call them uh, toy clip on microphones. So yeah, test one is going to be uh, using this. Uh, test two is going to be using the onboard Canon HV HV30 uh, microphone. And then test three, I'm going to be uh, testing this out, which I will plug it in wired because I haven't got the wireless kit yet. So yeah, so let's go on with the testing. Right then, test one. Here's the uh, clip on toy microphone. Sounds quite good. And if you are a regular follower that's been following me for some time, you know that uh, that this sounds pretty good. Yes, it does need a bit of uh, editing because it does only transmit in mono. Uh, so in the uh, Final Cut Express, I do have to spread the sound over to the two channels, left and right. And also boost the uh, the sound gain up a bit. But to be honest, no matter what I use, I always boost the sound gain up anyway. So yeah, that's uh, that's test one using the clip on. Okay. And then test two. Now I'm testing the onboard Canon HV HV30. Uh, microphone. To be honest, it's not too bad for a microphone. There are a few issues with it, but uh, remember, I'm actually doing the review. Yeah, I use this camera for uh, this camera for reviews. Where if I took it away on hotter day, I'll, I'll be happy with the sound. Simple as that. Uh, again, this is unedited, so are you here? It's how it sounds. Um, sounds pretty good, really. Again, I've only boosted the gain up a bit, so it makes it a bit harder, but that is totally it. So yeah, pretty impressive. It might pick up a bit too much noise around, like you might hear the TV downstairs, but again, this is good for outdoor video in your hotel or something. So yeah, that's test two, and that's the Canon HB30 uh, microphone built in. Now it's going to test three. And you might be aware of the to this thing, which is the call for some kind of AD46. As you see, this thing is absolutely really is a big one for us. It's been coming for a very, very very possible. And it's been really good. It's been a good one. It feels like four years, so it's been a nice one. So it's good. But it does fun for me just to put a pass in if I can get it. Let's go for the pickup pattern. And so that happens is it picks up the sound that you basically can't be up for too. 
for the time to put it to the